Thanks to a motivated group of volunteer trustees and individuals, the Buller District now has an 85 kilometre bike track known as the Old Ghost Road. Let's hear their story, the Mokahinui Lyle Backcountry Trust representing the Buller District. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pat McManus and I'm Mayor of the Buller District. Our district is not unlike most others in New Zealand. We have more demands than local government has resources for. There is a dire need for visionary and committed public involvement. Enter the Mohokanui Lyle Backcountry Trust with their Old Ghost Road project, an 80k multi-use trail through some of the most stunning wild landscapes this country has to offer. How significant is the project? Well, having already been named in the world's top three cycle trails and estimated to generate several million dollars annually for our district, that's pretty damn significant. The Old Ghost Road is emblematic of our district's journey away from boom and bust enterprise to one of greater resilience and sustainability. I'm Phil and uh, beside me is Weasel, both founding members and volunteers to our trust. We're just a small group of people from an even smaller part of uh, this country that stumbled on a pretty big idea. But to be honest, it wasn't even ours. The originators were some pretty hardy souls who wanted to connect two gold fields 130 years ago, but having made a start at both ends, the boom went bust and they walked away. We recognise the amazing potential of completing this vision, but also the enormity of it. We realise that when you're going to eat an elephant, you need to do it one bite at a time, and it might take a while. But how do you get people to hop on board when you're nothing but an audacious idea? We had to earn credibility. We chose volunteer power as our vehicle. Our first bite of that elephant was clearing 130 years of windfall and trees from the historic track formation. An old bushman eagerly volunteered to relive their glory days taking on these fallen giants. But these weren't eight hour and go home days. No, these were 72 hour warrior weekends where we lived, breathed, and slept the challenge. Our next test our next test was the big slips and re-establishing a track a across them, 400 vertical metres from top to bottom, one of them seen here. Even the resident feral goat population steered clear of them. We adopted the motto, bugger it, if the old timers can do it, why can't we? So for months and mainly over weekends, we worked on the big slips, fortunate to enlist the help of volunteers skilled in a number of things like hanging off ropes, drilling and blasting, using whatever lay around to get the job done. Commitment was high with volunteers putting their bodies on the line. Glenn, Stu, if you can cue video one. Here's a brief look at life at the Big Slips. Staff on to give enough juice to run it. We had eight spare solar panels lying around. <laughs> You can bounce at the end of the one. Just the Weasel, what do you reckon this weekend, mate? Mission accomplished, progress, failure, what? I would certainly like to think we've broken the back of it, Phil. Um, we've gotten a lot of people enthused. I think that's the big thing. Um, that Ant's willing to come back, and it sounds like everybody wants to come. Thank you, Stacky, that's awesome. Coming back is um, the big news, I think. Awesome. Uh, come up with the weekend, bring up another crew. I think we've uh, learned a shitloads, haven't we? That's we a have, mate. Thing. We have. You can. It's all been theory up till now, and now we know what we're doing. We think. Timothy, what? What? highlight of the weekend. You coming back, Red? Oh, oh shit, here. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to negotiate no. another contract. No. Blisters. Oh, Blisters. You That's, your no, That's your highlight. That's your highlight. Yeah. Was it that bad? Uh, no, no, that's right. Good. Yes, uh, conquering the big slips was a real tipping point. The old ghost was awakening. Before we knew it, we were hosting would-be heroes from all over the country. We plopped over 12,000 volunteer hours so far, uh, and that's over a quarter of the total project effort and counting. But perhaps our greatest volunteer achievement has been our hut building program. 
led by this guy right here. They made it their forte to camp and work in remote settings and create a lasting legacy, building four brand new hut complexes along the trail. Each time they disappeared into the middle of nowhere for up to a month at a time with no way of coming out, not at least until the job was done. None of this effort was without its hardships though. This is, uh, these are some of the places they built. Uh, this is what happens when you forget to pack a sleeping bag on a one-way trip. You fashion up a makeshift igloo from underfloor insulation and pretend sleeping bags are overrated. <laughs> and this is your all-night sleeping position when gale force winds threaten to lift your tent off the mountain and holding on to the centre pole is essential to staying put in survival. To endure such hardships, yet deliver each and every time, as Weasel and his mates did, takes special motivation and skill. This was delivered by Weasel's mate Dale, chief disciplinarian, employing the methods outlined on his t-shirt. Yeah, it's true. Uh, we were reminded this week that it's been generations since a track of this character was built in New Zealand, much less by a volunteer organization. As a volunteer, when your project spoken in the same breath as the Milford track, you're inspired. But we weren't working alone. We have been teamed up with the old track builders from 130 years ago, giving their work meaning in our district a new vision of itself. So here's the final verse of a song I wrote back when we were working on those big slips, actually, uh, and it's from the perspective of those old ghosts. Last month, we opened the southern third of the trail and next month, the northern third. Slowly but surely, the elephant we call the Old Ghost Road is being eaten and we wouldn't have stood a damn chance had it, hadn't it been for our volunteers. It's our hope that some of you may in time come and take a journey along the Old Ghost Road. Thank you.